It's Jackie from the Marengo Union Library here to talk about different calming techniques. First of all, I want to explain to you that stress actually is a normal part of life. Um, stress, stress actually is what drives us to try to be the best we can. But too much stress obviously makes it stress, doesn't it? So there's different calming techniques you can do. Um, I will send them home with you in a packet. There's different breathing exercises. Um, that you can practice um, things like going for a walk that helps sometimes chewing a stick of gum can help um, just the, the taste sensations of the mint and even just the whole action of chewing can sometimes help uh, you can also just be ready for stress though and what I mean by be ready for it is it's important to know how to calm yourself down before you get into a stressful situation. It's just like you can't just jump in a, in a pool and just automatically know how to swim, right? You probably need to take some lessons. So you know that when you get into the water, how to swim, okay? Because otherwise, that actually could be very stressful for you being around the water, couldn't it? Um, also, things like breathing slowly, slowing your, being very mindful of your breathing because when you are in a stress situation you'll notice that your your heart rate goes up and it's like a fight or flight situation where you're just you just your body wants to fight the stress right um, think about when you get stuck in traffic how aggravated you get right but there's nothing you can do so being stuck in traffic which there will be a lot of traffic construction I'm sure this summer that'd be a good opportunity when you're in the car, just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Just practice your, your breathing. Deep breathing. Okay. Inhale. Hold it. And then slowly release it. Sometimes it helps if you actually focus on different parts of your body, like making a fist and then releasing you'll feel just it kind of goes out of your system, doesn't it, the stress. Another thing you can do is be organized. Um, sometimes the more organized you are, then the better you're able to plan for different stressful situations. Like, you know it's gonna be summertime and you know there's gonna be construction. So rather than figuring, oh, it takes me 30 minutes to get to the library, Maybe I'll leave 45 minutes early just to make sure that I've got extra time so that I don't get stressed. And also there's some things like construction traffic, a rainstorm that cancels your soccer game. Nothing you can do. There's some things there's no point in getting upset about. You just let it go, right? Um, I think I kind of said already, the stress actually is a normal psychological and physical reaction to the everyday demands of life. So even fun things like getting married, starting school, those can all be really fun, exciting things, but those are still stressors. So stressors actually are good things and bad things, but it's how we deal with them. That's on us, right? Uh, you can also start writing, maybe writing things down. Um, like keep a journal. That's one way to, to deal with stress is if you keep a journal, then you'll know, well, today I did this and today I did that and this is what happened. And then you look back a week later and you realize, you know what? That wasn't really that big of a deal anyways. I overreacted. And also maybe keep a gratitude journal too. Or even every morning, just think of before you even get out of bed, think of five things, sorry, this is five right here. Five things that you are just so happy about and just thankful for. Okay? For one thing, you woke up, right? That's something to be thankful for, right? Okay, so now we're going to do the fun stuff, and that is our crafts. So, one of the things we can do is I'm going to send you home with some baby oil and a bottle, and you're going to pour the baby oil into your bottle. And then you can add some food coloring or glitter if you want. 
and then you're going to fill your water bottle up but you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because you want to have room okay so i've got my oil down here which is red because i put a red drop of red food coloring in there and then i'm just gonna just kind of like watch it see how relaxing that can be see just kind of watch it yes you could put glitter in there too if you want. Depends whether or not glitter causes you stress or not. Um, glitter causes stress for me here at the library. So I don't use glitter <laughs> if I can avoid it. Another thing you can do is you can make a stress ball. Now see my stress ball actually is a balloon that's got rice in there and then I drew a picture on there. And then I can just kind of squeeze it and it takes my mind off of things. And if I'm really upset, rather than saying something that would be hurtful to someone else, I can just squeeze my stress ball. And I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna blow a balloon up. Now the reason why you blow it up ahead of time is because you wanna make sure there's room to put the rice. Okay, then I'm gonna take a funnel and I'm going to put that over my funnel here, okay, and then I'm going to pour some rice in here. And you have to do it kind of slowly, so it all goes down there, which kind of reminds you as you're doing this, you can't tackle all of your problems immediately, right? You have to take it bit by bit, right? It's like when my kids were growing up, I always used to remind them that it was just like a plate of food. You don't take a whole plate of food to eat at one time, do you? No. You take one bite at a time. And then you take the next bite, right? Okay, so. I'm going to, whoops, spill rice on the table. But that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not going to let that stress me out. Okay, so I want to get some more rice in there. So I blew the balloon up a little bit more. I'm going to put the funnel back on. Oops, and let's put rice all over my table. But you know what? That doesn't matter. I've got more rice. Oops. Twist that again so I can try that again. Obviously, if you put a funnel that already has rice in there over your balloon, you're going to spill rice on your table. But you know what? That's okay. It's not a big deal. Just clean. You can clean it up. Okay, and then I'm going to add some more rice. And I now have my stress ball. I'll have some left over. Okay. Now you can put things like flour in here if you want. You can leave a little bit. You want to have a little squish. If you don't want to do it so much that it pops and you squeeze it. There we go. Okay. And then after you've got to tie a knot on the top of your balloon. I will send you directions home for all of this in your craft bag. Okay, all right. Then I've got my stress ball, see? And you can draw a picture on there if you want, if that helps. All right, now I am going to clean up my rice because that is something I have control over. And there we go. Okay, so I've done that. Now, the next thing we're going to make, we've made a water bottle. Come on to the ocean. And we've made a stress ball. We're going to use another kind of stress ball. And this uses these water beads. Now, I'm going to come over and show you how small those water beads are. 
Let's get rid of some of these. Okay, so you can see, okay, that is one teaspoon of water beads. And what you do is you're going to put these water beads into a container, and then you're going to add three cups of water. Okay, you think you're going to have lots of water the next day? No, what you're going to do is you're going to end up with these balls. So you remember how small those water beads are? And they become these big balls, okay? So I let these sit the night before. I made them up ahead of time. And I'm going to find my balloon. Okay, again, we're going to blow the balloon up to stretch it out. Okay, so it's all stretched out, and then I'm going to do it again. Okay, so, and then again, I'm going to twist it like this. And then I'm going to put it over the mouth of a water bottle because I took my water beads that were in my container and then using a funnel, I put them into the water bottle here. And then I'm going to take this because this just makes it easier to get these, these beads into the balloon if you put them into a water bottle. don't want the air to get out because you do need some air in the balloon to make this easier to okay success all right now I gotta let go of the balloon and I'm gonna turn it upside down all right I'm gonna put my beads in there now you'll have more beads so, um, than I will. I'm just, just making a small one so I can show you. Okay. Now you don't want to let all the air out. You want to leave some air in there and there might even be a little bit of water left over from your beads too and that's okay. Okay. There. And then I will bring this over so you can see it. Oops. Uh, you're not. And then I have a squishy ball. And it's really fun to watch too, you know? Let's watch this bees pop up. So, I mean, these are just wonderful things here, these water bees. So I'm setting home some beads. Again, I'm setting one teaspoon home each craft kit and look I still have lots of beads left so all right the other thing I'm just going to show you is how to make calming play-doh all right let me get my instruction sheet out here okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to in one bowl here take two cups of flour okay I'm going to use two cups of flour. Okay, half. One. And a half. Two. All right. So I've got my two cups of flour in here. Okay, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of cream of tartar. All right, and I'm going to send home cream of tartar because I'm not sure if everyone has cream of tartar at home or not, so I will send that home. But flour, I figure you probably already have. mix that all up to make sure that's mixed up okay I've done that now in a separate bowl 
I'm going to take some Epsom salt, which I just actually poured in there, which I'll that will send home, and one cup of boiling water. Okay, and I'm going to pour that over the salt and mix it up. Let me turn my burner off now. Okay, the reason why I'm using Epsom salt, Epsom salt has some um, healing components about it, plus it's actually gentler on your on your skin than regular table salt would be. Okay, so that's all dissolved now. I've dissolved my Epsom salt in my boiling water. And then now I'm gonna pour it into my flour. And get that out there. And my cream of tartar. And then mix it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil, which I figure you have probably have that at home too. And then I'm going to mix this all up. Now at this point, you can add whatever oil you would like. I'm sending home some lavender oil home for you. So once it's all mixed up, I'm going to add some lavender oil to it. Um, usually about two or three drops. Mmm, it smells so good. All right. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way so that you can see. add some color to that you can let me just put this here on my table here there we go okay and then I'm gonna knead it this in itself is I think very therapeutic Needing it, oops. <laughs> Just like that. Now I'm going to make up a fresh batch because I'm not wearing gloves right now. I'll make up a fresh batch and I'm going to send just a, a little bit home for you. Just so you can get the idea of the feel of it. Let's see if you want to make it yourself, okay? Right now, so if you wanted to add food coloring to that, you could. Um, let me find my food coloring here. Just put it like a drop there in the middle. And you want to be careful that you don't get it on your clothes because that could be stressful. And we're trying to find ways to relieve stress, right? All right, see now it's starting to turn blue. All right, see? And then I have my, my stress dough. So you might want to maybe even, in it, mm, it smells good too. <laughs> maybe you keep a little bit with you in the car and a little baggie there and you can squeeze it and either you can take it out and squeeze it, or you can keep it in the bag and just, again, just moving it around can be very calming, okay? So that's that one. Okay, I've got one more thing to show you as far as the craft. And that, if you take cornstarch, and some hair conditioner and you mix that all together it is just it's a very very cooling and maybe if you have younger kids you can try this with them and what it does is it's a recipe for making snow dough but again it's the whole idea of having just the experience of running your hands 
do a light powder. I see it does clump up after a while, after you mix it for a while. And you can add a little more cream rinse to it if you need to. Again, it just feels really cool to the touch. That's why I call it snow dough. So probably anything that you can do just to kind of remind yourself just to calm down. Sometimes we put our hand, our fingers into things and it just, oh, it just feels so good to do, doesn't it? All right, so I've showed you a few different techniques you can use. Another thing you can do is the library here has lots of different resources and one of the resources we have is some coloring books and in those books there are coloring sheets which you can check out the book you can color or if you want if you feel like sudoku that would be coloring for you and you can tear the sheet out okay and just return the rest of the book to the library drawing, maybe putting on some music and just taking out your colored pencils and just drawing. It's just coloring. Again, very relaxing. Anything you can do for yourself. Again, practice your breathing. Deep breathing. Okay. Very good. So, I think I've covered most of the things that I can think of that I do when I need to calm down. Um, like I said, the Orby balls are probably my favorite thing here in the coloring dough. Let's see, also imagine if you're maybe in your favorite vacation or something like that. Um, I'll send you home some, some different resources that the library has as far as a list of them, of the different resources we have to offer. Like I said, don't forget about those Realia books. They have the coloring books and the Sudoku and the word puzzles. And remember, just choose what you can do. Again, managing your stress is on you. It's very, very important that you do that, okay? Because managing your stress is good for you and you are very important. Thank you so much. I hope you have a nice, calm rest of your day. Bye.